so it's going? It's going. All right, now, before I start this, i just like to ask you all a quick question. Who in your life has inspired you? For me, that would be Mr. Brady. You see, when I was growing up, I had no confidence whatsoever. And I used to believe there were two types of people in this world. I believed there were leaders and there were followers. And I, and I thought I, I could never be a leader. I thought I'd spend my life as a follower, taking orders, if I could even understand them. I just thought it was, would never be possible for me to put myself in a decision-making role or a leadership role. But then in 2014, I started watching Patriots games for the first time. I, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, I learned a general history of the franchise as well as their quarterback, Tom Brady. I learned about a man who is humble, confident, hardworking, and never gives up, even when he's behind in, and even when he's behind 28 to three in the Super Bowl. He never gives up. He's always positive and he leads with such passion. And he will always, always find a way to win when it matters most. And of course, along, and of course, I admire all of those traits so much and I've tried to take some of that into my own life. He's also a six-time Super Bowl ch champion, which is a record. Four-time Super Bowl MVP, also a record. A three-time league MVP. Several Pro Bowl, several Pro Bowl selections, and a first ballot Hall of Famer. For those of you who don't know what that means, it means uh, eventually after he retires, the first time that he'll be eligible to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, he will be. And he holds almost every passing record in the 100 history, in the 100 year history of the NFL. Think about that for a moment. And he's won more games than any other player ever. And he's the greatest quarterback of all time. And although he never shows it off, he does also happen to own, to own his very own Infinity Gauntlet, powered by his six Super Bowl rings. AFC beware. And although he's made it look easy in the last two decades, it never was for him. In fact, he started out as the backup of his freshman high school team. And do you wanna know how many games they won? Zero. And he, and he was the backup for that team. And he only played the next year because the guy who played the first year quit. He eventually moved on to college at Michigan where he had to battle six other quarterbacks just for a chance to play. He eventually then moved into the NFL, well, moved on to the NFL, where scouts and so-called experts judged him, and they deemed him to be very low compared to quarterbacks, other quarterbacks of that class, other players of that draft class, and other players in general of past drafts. In fact, he was picked number 199 in the 2000 NFL draft. 100 and 98 players before him, six of which were quarterbacks, none of which lasted more than a few years. And for those of you who don't know where that is, that is very late in the sixth round, out of seven. If, he, if it had taken longer, he may not have ever seen a down in football ever. Now let's take a little look at his draft report real quick. I'm not gonna read through all of this, however, I will sum it up with what these so-called experts said. According to them, he, he was slow, poor body build, which Robert Kraft even de described uh, him as a scrawny beanpole of a man who had never seen a weight room. Uh, and he just didn't have that ability or that talent to perform well on the field. They thought he'd never find success. Yet, the stats I showed earlier would say otherwise. And then in September 2001, uh, the franchise quarterback, Drew Bledsoe, had, had taken a serious hit from Jets linebacker, Mo Lewis. And he was out on injury for several weeks, which gave Brady his first real opportunity to show the world who he is. 
They event the Patriots eventually won Super Bowl 36 that year, their first in franchise history, and he's not, and he hasn't looked back since. And of course, just all of that alone has has just taught me so much about how you can uh, overcome these kind of obstacles just by working hard, and that's exactly how he's come as far as he has by working harder than everyone else. In fact, this, come, this list right here is his 10 rules for success. It's, it comes from a video I saw a couple years ago and I rewatched it earlier about a week ago to refresh myself and I'm only going to go over a few of these, which I feel are the most significant to myself and to anyone else. The first one is to earn it every single day, whether you're a pro athlete or an average Joe or Susan, uh, you have to earn your privilege to work at what you're doing every single day. Otherwise, your employer will find someone else who will. The next is that you have to care deeply about what you're doing because if you don't, if you don't care, then you're not going to try. And if you're not trying hard enough, you're not gonna earn it. Last one I'm gonna go over is that you have to believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, if you won't, then who will? And I've incorporated most of those, if not all of them, but especially those three I mentioned every single day in my life ever since. And every time I start to uh, beat myself down a bit, every time I feel broken down or like things are hopeless, I'm not good enough, I look back to that kid who shouldn't have had a career in the NFL. A kid who was supposed to have no success, never see a down in football. And I think to myself, if he can become the greatest quarterback of all time, if he can become Tom Brady, then so can I. Why not me? And if I can do it, why not you? Thank you. Great job. Very good. Very good.